If you work for a company that manufactures a product using machinery, whether it be a single tool or a huge automotive production line, there are many hazards that could affect your safety and well-being. Injuries reported under the Reporting of Injuries, Diseases and Dangerous Occurrences Regulations, or RIDOR, for the period of 2010-2011 show that in the manufacturing industry generally there were 27 fatal injuries to workers. About 17 and a half thousand reported injuries and an estimated 27,000 self-reported injuries. Of the 11% of the reported non-fatal injuries, about 1,900 involved contact with moving machinery. And food manufacture had a rate of reported major injury almost twice the rate for manufacturing as a whole. It's generally recognised that the RIDOR statistics are somewhat understated, so the actual figures are probably higher. Now with these statistics in mind, this introduction to the safety of machinery will act as a guide to the maze of standards and legislation which surround this topic. We'll be looking at the definition of a machine and how this differs from equipment, who is responsible for the safety of a machine, how to carry out a risk assessment and a risk reduction exercise, responsibilities on supply and purchase of the machine, and the responsibilities of the employer when the machinery is put into use. In doing this, we'll take a practical look at how the regulations and standards are used, rather than going through them in detail.